Welcome to Express Video Learning, presented by Cost Plus Electric Supply. I'm Eric, and we're here to show you. Today, we're talking about HID, or High Intensity Discharge Lamps, and what replacement options are out. LED is the future technology for this application. Really, there's a few key components that you're going to want to keep in mind when you're replacing those old HID lamps. When you're ready to select the correct replacement lamp, there are three key components that you want to keep in mind. One is going to be your lumen output, two is your shell size, and three is your base type. Let's dig into it. Now when we're talking about shell size, we're talking about the outer size of the lamps. Now all of these have official codes, right? Anything from an ED17 to an E39X. All of them are important, but what I can tell you is when selecting the proper replacement LED lamp for your application, nothing is more important than just bringing the old one in. That way here at Cost Plus, we can help you size your lamp correctly. Also keep in mind that when we're talking about shell sizes, there's also shell varieties. So notice that these ones are frosted. These ones are clear. Obviously, they'll both work in the same applications. The hard part is, is that what will it look like in your finished product? I would say majorly what we carry here at Cost Plus is always going to be a clear product. But if you need something else, there's lots of options to look at. When selecting the right base, sometimes it's not that easy. A lot of our manufacturers include a simple adapter that already comes with it, which makes it convenient. I would say, as long as I've been in the industry, really the only time you need to worry about medium versus mogul base is when you're in that 150 to 175 watt replacement category. Really, traditionally speaking, 100 watt and less is almost always medium. And then again, 175 or more is almost always mogul. It's really important though that you always bring that lamp in when you can so that we save you trips to the job. You also have to understand that there is different LED constructions. The original ones, or this is oftentimes referred to as a corn cob style lamp, as you can see the rows of LED, lots of heat sinks, massive size. Definitely a nice quality replacement fixture, there's no doubt. Whereas something much more simplistic, the filament style lamps, are going to give you a, a much more consistent illumination for what was originally designed for your fixture, but definitely something that you want to take in consideration. Oftentimes in my experience, when we're replacing older HID fixtures, a new LED lamp, even though technically speaking by the spec sheet, it has less lumens, will actually be perceived brighter than an older HID lamp. So when they operate, it's really simple. That's the beauty part about LED replacement lamps. LED replacement lamps have instant on, whereas HID and ballasted style fixtures might have a warm up period or a cool off period depending on your cycling. LED doesn't have that. And what I would say is even though most manufacturers don't rate them to be dimmable, some of these lamps can actually be smooth dimmed. Now remember, you're taking that on your own accord though. If a manufacturer says a lamp is not dimmable, don't dim it because what you're going to do is cut the life cycle of that lamp. Remember, watts are the load to your electrical system. If this particular lamp says it's a 30 watt lamp, that means the load to your electrical system is 30 watts. So easily you have 10 fixtures, 10 times 30 is 300. You now have 300 watts of load to your electrical system. Now, even though this is a 30 watt lamp, the fact that it's at 5,000 CCT or 4,000 CCT, or any other CCT level can change the lumen output. So it doesn't always equate. So it's not like for every one watt, you're gonna get X amount of lumens in LED. Not to mention the efficiency of the ribbons or the LED chips that they use is also going to impact that. So it's always best to read the label. But what I can assure you, especially on exterior lighting, that oftentimes, even though original lamp might have said 20,000 lumens, and you're replacing it with a 10,000 lumen lamp, and you're gonna say, oh my gosh, it's not gonna be nearly bright enough, you will surprise yourself. Remember one other key component. It's not really as important as it used to be, and that's voltage. The voltage of your system is going to matter. The great part about the filament lamps and most LED corn cobs or any other replacements is that they're voltage adjustable, meaning that they'll take anything from 120 through 277 volts. The best part of all of this generation of lamps is the fact that you're going to bypass that ballast that's in that fixture. You won't need that big clunky thing anymore. I'm not saying pull it out, because honestly, if you pull it out, 
you have to properly dispose of it. I say leave it in the fixture, take your voltage directly to your socket, and you're good to go. Remember, when selecting the right replacement lamp, there's really no definitive answer. I can tell you our agenda here at Cost Plus. One, offer a very competitive product. Two, make sure that product can last a decent amount of hours. And three, what kind of environmental impact can we do? Good luck on your next LED replacement lamp.